Hi everyone and welcome to Hot Mamas. Today what we're going to do is contouring. So we're going to be talking about um, highlighter. Uh, I'm going to add blush in here because I usually do that in the, at this step as well. And a dark contour or bronzer depending on what you happen to have Brontouring. Brontouring. Yeah. Yeah. Brontouring. <laughs> That's the contouring with bronzer. Yeah. But. We're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. Lisa's got a very simple so one. This they is the NARS uh, Olympia palette, and it's just a contour shade and a highlight shade. And the thing with contour shades, um, they differ from bronzers in that they're, the idea behind them is that they're supposed to create um, a shadow to make things like if you want your cheekbones to um, pop out, you make the area underneath kind of recede. Um, and so they tend to be more ashy on the ashy side as opposed to bronzer, which is a more of a warm color. Like on the golden side. On the golden side, yeah. So this is a, a palette called Olympia by NARS for contouring. And con Truth be told, I don't contour. Yeah. <laughs> I bronzer. So. Con contours are less likely also to contain glitter, which in some people, if they have very crepey skin or wrinkled skin, would be it would be better to use a contour and not a bronzer. Um, the, these palettes can come in, well, they, they come in solid palettes. This is a higher end one. It's called Ish. And it was actually put out at the, in the FabFitFun box. And I think it was in the summer box. Um, and then you can see inside that there's different shades. There's, <clears throat> there's these two here are the contour and these are highlighters. And one's blush. One's, this is a blush, more of a blush. But this one is a highlighter. So the idea of highlighter is you want that the areas of your face you want to bring out, like for instance, the top of your cheekbones, maybe your cupid's bow a bit. Some people do down their nose to make it look a little bit, you know, if you contour on this side and kind of do a little bit of a um, highlight down the mid center of your nose, makes your nose look slimmer. But generally, the highlighter area of the palette goes in the places you want to bring out as opposed to recede. That's right. Um, and so this is a higher end palette. Um, this palette would be about $50. This is a lower end palette that's by NYX and that's just available at the drugstore. For Canadians it's available at London Drugs and Walmart. And then highlighters, or as Lisa said, are meant to be to highlight areas where you want the light to hit to emphasize. Um, the highlighting Highlighters can come in a stick, like this is a Clinique stick. You can see there's a highlighter there. See where the light reflects off? Uh, there's liquid. So like, this is a Becca. Skin Perfector. Yeah, and then you can see it comes as a liquid. This I have a little bit more trouble using just because it <laughs> I seems think that enthusiastic. supposed to be maybe mixed with your foundation. Yeah, right? I think yeah, it's supposed to know. mix. I, I just have, I'm having trouble figuring it out. Uh, and then it can then it can also come as I've already shown you as a powder. I mean as a palette. And here's one so, by Becca called Opal. Yeah. Um, which is a beautiful, beautiful color. They can come in champagne colors and opal color. All sorts of colors to yeah. go with whatever look you've got going on. And then there's a drugstore version which is rated really well by Physicians Formula, and that's this one here. And it's got a sort of a pink side and a bronzy side. So that's a really excellent drugstore highlighter. I think it's got a little thing in the back, like a mirror. And... Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So today we're going to show you what what we do and what brushes we use for, for our highlighting and our um, contouring. Uh, you want to use a pretty fluffy brush because you don't want to put the um, product on and then have it be really squeaky. Um, I use this NARS blush, and it's called NARS Orgasm. NARS Orgasm. Um, so, like this, I know what. Okay, and then. So I use NARS Orgasm. So, I would use a brush like that. Very fluffy. So you can see already that you're already starting to see um, a bit of contour line. Then I would go with, I'm going to use the Ish palette. The one thing about contour that you have to be careful of is that some of them can look muddy on your skin tone. So you have to be really careful to 
kind of match your skin with the contour. So the, the dark contour goes right below this bone. And I almost snuggle right up to it. So you can see the difference, this cheek. Right? So that's the look you want with the contour. And then uh, same thing, other side. I like to use vertical strokes. I don't like to go like this because I think it makes it look more natural if you do it this way. We need a little more for on camera, but so there. Now, for people with a double chin or extra chinage that they would like to hide, I use the same thing, contour powder, and I go under my chin. And so you can see it creates the illusion, <laughs> the illusion of a sharper jaw. So now I have cheekbones. Now I have a jawline. I like to put a little bit here. I have a very sharp chin and I like to make my chin recede a bit. So I put a bit there too. Uh, so that, that would be the contouring step for me. For the highlighting step, I use another really fluffy brush and I will use, I'll use this ish. I don't use it much, but I'm going to try it today ish powder apply and then you want to apply it where you want light to hit so right over makes your cheekbones look a little bit more pronounced uh, as we age we lose fullness through the through the apples of the cheeks and up here so I like to bring this region out using the highlighter some people like to use highlighter on their nose to make their nose look thinner I do not need to do that. If I did that, I would look like Michael Jackson in about five seconds. <laughs> so I tend not to do that. I do like to put it above my eyes though, because that can also create the appearance of a higher eyebrow. Sorry about the light flickering, guys. Like that. So that would be using a highlighting powder. So one thing that's important to do is blend, 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 blend. Make sure that you're You've lost all your lines. I, I use a very big fan brush for blending. And then as a final step, and this isn't considered part of contouring, but I use a finishing powder. And this one I've just discovered and I love. It's RCMA finishing powder. And I use the same big fan brush that I blended with. And then I just apply the finishing powder. So that's contouring. Lisa, I think I'm going to turn that over to now Lisa, and she's going to show you how she does it, just to get well, a I, different I don't, point well, of no. view. Well, no, I what what I what I would generally do because I'm lazy is I would I would take um, bronzer, uh, like this Laguna bronzer, and I do the top of my forehead in my cheek, under my cheeks, and under my chin. But I do have here actual contour brushes <laughs> like legit those are which important I haven't used so I'm gonna try them today I'm gonna try the, the what what they say to do so first of all and I'm gonna use this Olympia palette so I'm gonna take some of this contour shade and we're gonna put it right I'm gonna do thing right. that's perfect you right underneath the cheekbone here like that Good. That looks good, please. So, so now I've lifted this part of my face up. Now with um, the highlighter, you take a smaller brush, and actually the trick is to put it underneath here. Oh, I didn't. This is new, guys. New trick. Okay, underneath I'm here. To. Everybody put And that your... sort of cuts your, I can't really see, but that sort of cuts your, again, cuts your um, cheekbone. There, mm. it's that side worked out better. So, and then what you can do is take your smaller contour brush, which I don't generally contour my nose, but if you were to contour your nose, you kind of just... She has a skinny nose like I do. Yeah, you kind of just put lines down either side of your nose to create a shadow. 
using the smaller contour brush. I just added a bit of this Clinique solid and then blend it. So after you do that, then you would go in with blush. I'm going to use this little blush here. Go in with blush and highlight or blush, you know, over top of that. Sorry about the noise, guys. We're, we're filming up Whistler and uh, some people are down there playing with something. I don't know. That's so I, now, now you're going to see like mm -hmm. it's going to be lines, but we're going to have to blend that out, obviously. Blending, blending, blending. Yeah. Super important. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to draw lines here just for, because it, that's basically what it is. And then you just blend it out. So there's a line kind of here. There's a line underneath of the highlighter. There's blush. And then on top, you, you use your highlighter, which I'll use this Physician's Formula in the pink today. And I use a fan brush. And just sort of... Okay, so... so um, we're like you can see how it's three strips so we're gonna have to blend that out and then I'm just gonna take a little bit and do under my jaw here and that's sort of it for the contouring except for the blending because now we kind of look like we have tiger stripes but that'll all go away and then with this highlighter this physician's formula drugstore highlighter I'm gonna take the pink strip which is hard to see because of the, of the pink part and I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones this way and this powder here that you can see this is kind of like doing a bake because I put a lot on there and so it's kind of baking on so then you're just going to brush it off with a with a powder brush and it should um, look a little more natural so then I'm going to highlight the tops of the cheekbones you know kind of maybe top of the cupid's bow here I've got lipstick on though so and then uh, Mm, yeah. across the chin and then I contour either end of my nose so a lot of people will kind of run highlighter down the bridge of their nose like that and that's pretty much it other than blend how we blend and dust all this off and I would just I would just continue to kind of blend it out until it kind of all melted into one kind of thing and then you can see um, I think it went a little far there but you can see how it kind of brings out the cheekbones on either side so I'm just gonna finish blending <laughs> okay so that's it for uh, um, contouring I hope that was helpful uh, any questions you can ask down below uh, you can contact us on hotmamaslive.com we have a new website up now Instagram and Twitter we're we're, we're at hot mamas live and um, YouTube you know so subscribe to our channel uh, we're gonna be putting out two videos a week Thanks very much. Bye.